What is crack like that? Welcome back to the episode of Doors. We are on our way back out. Just me and Mary now. We went into the bar, got all fat and sassy on some food, and uh, back out for a little more wall action this evening. Usually it's a good morning bite and a good evening bite. If you can find a good spot in the morning, you can probably stay there and get it for the evening. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Just hiking across Red Lake. Yeah, she's got some issues with the ice this year, but it's all good. We are headed out there. We're gonna try and just do some fun fishing. We already kept, I don't know, three pieces or something earlier. I don't need no more fish. So let's do a little fun fishing. Hopefully it gets even better than this morning, or hopefully I just don't miss so many. If we do that, we'll probably catch plenty. But we're gonna keep this hike going because it's, uh, it's no easy walk, especially twice in one day. Once there, once back, not, not ideal, so. Get back out there, get right back on the program. More wildlife coming at you soon. All right, back out. We need to put, first things first, we need to put iFish Pros out. Get them just out and gripping and ripping with some minnows. I wish we had shiners, dude. That usually does it up here, but. That's what, that's what they were using. I know. All we have is fat heads because all the shiners dead. Oh my God, someone's coming out here with the permanent. four-wheeler and permanent coming at you so all right i'm gonna go put this out dump a big minner on it try and try and make it happen that's all i'm here to do catch more wet lines am i gonna knife one more is the question like am i knifing my last one for Lemmy? or what am i doing here where's the other half of my tip up you want wood out of my pickup? All right, slap it out. Let's get the tip up secured first. I'm telling you, dude, sometimes you never know. Sometimes that set line will just really out, outshine your jigs, man. You never know. Just always put it out if you got it. Why not? Well, look, yeah, it doesn't take much to put it out and usually catches plenty of fish so oh wow it's just set perfect it was like i might have been here this morning or something yeah probably because i was all right i fish pro is set and um apparently bud with the permanent shack and the wheeler is coming to where we are so Good thing we uh, left 10 minutes before yeah, early bird gets the worm, they say. I don't know, there's so many walleyes around the lake, I don't think it really matters, man. Really, it's, it's pretty outrageous how many are around here. Just gotta find, just gotta find where they're living, pal. And then we harvest. Uh, we we're just getting set up. Murray doesn't even have his cameras out. Would you look at that? Tips are banging. Let's go. Oh, I've literally been here for like five minutes. That's sick. Wow. That's pretty. That's pretty lame. But hey, I'd say that's a good sign for uh, only being here for a couple minutes. What? Oh, me neither. I haven't even taken my freaking jig. I haven't even taken my jigging rod out of my freaking rad box yet. So let's just tone her down a little bit. And um, I'm probably just gonna hop. Yeah, I'm gonna hop right back on the same program as this morning. Still got a minnow on there. That's that's pretty gross. But uh, this right here is the killer. The pink, purple, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Live spoon. She's pretty much the only one I've been running today. So. Get right back at it, same program. Jigging seven feet of water, eight feet of water, maybe nine feet of water, you never know. Just wherever the wild lights are. So let's get to it. Let's go man. First one of the night. Marked one other one and he did not want it. This one 
was like, um, yeah, you're coming with me. Oh man, come on now with this hook situation. Oh, perfect. Hey, hey, hey. There you have it. First one of the evening. I am not going to keep any more, I don't think, but it's a good one. He's definitely, he's an over 17er. Oh, see you later. See you later, my friend. Wow, just pretty much decked my line, huh? What happened there? Alright, let me attempt to get my big camera out for a little bit. Camera's gonna die, but there's a wall. I can't even see the freaking spoon. We're gonna get him back. Dude, yeah, two at once. Right. Yeah. And that rifled right back up. Dude. This guy might be coming home with me. <laughs> if he is under 17, he is going to come home with me as my last keeper. But he's looking like he's pretty darn close. So. We're gonna make sure. We want to definitely make sure here. Hey, hey. Lay the, lay the frick down. Just lay down. There you have it. It's gonna be my last eater of the Red Lake trip. Makes four, I think. Makes four, you can keep four this year. One over 17, and then three under 17. I got uh, three this morning, and uh, I'll take one more 16 incher. Little update, we are still at it. Pretty slow, actually, for the evening so far. Got three fish, missed a couple. Probably should have got like six, but dude, they just literally, once you see a flicker, all of a sudden your rod's bent, it's a hole smack the bejesus right out of it so i don't know as you can tell behind me the sun is going down where is that sucker oh there she is the sun is setting we were hoping that, that last half hour 45 minutes or something it's gonna turn back on hopefully these fish are pushing back in but no tip ups really just all the jigs so far you're gonna stand here i'm sure we're gonna catch you by my eyes Yes. Let's go. Dude, two of them came in at once. Oh man, his body's still sitting out there too. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, because your buddy is still freaking sitting down there. Give me this middle tail. Hotness. 
Hot and heavy. Coming in hot and heavy. Come on, I'm gonna get you back, Ray. We're gonna get your baddies. Right, get that back. There we go. I would stop uh, missing so many. We'd be doing pretty dang good tonight. <sighs> yeah, I've dropped a lot of fish tonight. I don't know why. Just, just one of them days, man. Just one of them freaking days. Alrighty, alrighty. We are out of here. As you can see, the sun has set on Red Lake. It is getting pretty cold out here, actually. And it's pretty windy, so not the evening I was looking for at all. I'm talking probably should have iced 10 wall ice. I only iced a few. I don't, I don't really know what happened. Some days, you, some days you catch them and some days you catch them. That's all I got to say. But today wasn't my day. It's awesome to be back on Red Lake, though. I will definitely be back to uh, hit her a little harder next time, probably. Probably going to wait until you can drive four-wheelers. Get a little mobile out there, get a little further out, but awesome first trip to Red, and uh, always fun hanging with the boys. Make sure you guys go check out Fish and More Soby, and uh, I'm sure we'll be back up here sometime this year. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this little more outdoors. I don't know where I'll be next. Probably on the ice, catching something, doing something dumb. We'll see. We'll see you there.